In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate articulatory technique for the rib cage, specifically the rib raising technique. As I go through this technique, I'm going to uh, put my hands along your back. I'm going to probably move your arm out of the way as well. I'm going to be pushing along your back, along your rib cage, uh, from the top to the bottom. Let me know if you're uncomfortable, if anything is tender. If you need me to stop or change what I'm doing, please let me know. Is it okay if I begin? Mm -hmm. So now in this technique, as we're going to apply articulatory uh, principles to the rib cage, we're, our primary contact is going to be the uh, rib angles. So the way that we can uh, find them and make contact is we can have our patient uh, reach with their arm across to their opposite shoulder. Go ahead and do that. And that's going to help to protract the scapula, move it laterally and out of the way so that we can uh, find those rib angles readily. Um, alternatively, we can also grab their uh, distal forearm and we can lift anteriorly. That also helps to protract the scapula so that we can reach and find our landmarks. So go ahead and just put your hand on your shoulder. So now with the scapula out of the way, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna slide under our patient and we're gonna first find our spinous processes. And then we're gonna move lateral to the transverse processes and then to the costotransverse joints. And then as we move a little bit more lateral, we'll feel that posterior hump of the rib, and that is the rib angle. And we're gonna start uh, near the top, and the first rib angle that we're gonna feel uh, back here is likely to be either rib uh, two or three, because rib one is gonna be a lot higher. And as we're making our contact and applying our forces, we're gonna take our uh, hand and arm and create a rigid structure from our fingertips through our wrist into our elbow. And as we're uh, applying our forces anteriorly, we're not gonna just be using our fingers, we're gonna be using our entire arm by dropping our elbow down, taking advantage of the edge of the table and creating a seesaw-like motion to induce forces. So as our elbow goes down, our fingertips are gonna move anteriorly and that's gonna lift the rib and induce art articulation. So finding our rib angles. Now you can choose to start either from the superior aspect or you can start from the inferior aspect and work your way up or down. You can also use whatever diagnostic information you've collected either through your AGR screen or your respiratory screen or specific somatic dysfunction diagnosis that you've done so far. So the first portion of this uh, articulation is going to be more uh, diagnostic in function where we're going to be uh, adding some gentle articulation anteriorly. So dropping our elbows, causing that seesaw motion, lifting our fingers into the rib angles, and that force is going to uh, be applied a little anterior and slightly lateral to lift those ribs anteriorly. And then we're going to shift our contact, sliding inferior, again contacting those rib angles, and then dropping our elbows. And as we move inferior here, I'm finding a rib that's a little more restricted right around rib five or six. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time there adding a rhythmic anterior force. And I'm gonna apply those forces anteriorly in a repetitive manner until I feel some improvement of motion. Now, if I'm not feeling sufficient improvement, or if I want to take a different approach to uh, improving that motion, I can also apply a sustained force anteriorly. So I can drop my elbows, lift my fingers into that rib, and really focus on lifting that specific rib or group of ribs anteriorly against my fingers. And then I can hold it until I feel some changes that are indicating uh, release. So I might feel that rib start to slide or shift anteriorly. I might feel the soft tissue around it start to relax. Or I might feel, as another end point, I might feel that the ribs start to move uh, more normally as my patient is breathing in and out. Good. And then I can continue inferiorly, screening the rest of the ribs and any other rib that I find that is restricted like rib 10 here, I can either add a series of articulations or I can add a sustained force, a little anterior and lateral, dropping my elbows, lifting my fingers, and waiting until I feel a release. 